Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer. In today's video, let's break down what are prisms. And I have a bunch to show you. So, first things first, if you want to contact our office and you're local, call us at 618 288 1489. If you're not local, go to our website, visionforlifeworks.com. You've got two options. You can either fill out a questionnaire or you can click on the schedule a consultation button. All right, let's talk prisms. We have a lot of different types of prisms that we utilize in our office, which might come as a surprise because I pretty adamantly talk about not prescribing prism in glasses. I do want to be specific in saying there are times that I do utilize prism, just typically not the way that most doctors do. All right, so let's talk about the prisms that we do utilize a lot. Then we'll talk about the ones that I do prescribing glasses sometimes. Okay, so first of all, there are different types of prisms that we utilize in the clinic for our patients and our patients that we have all around the world. If you look at, oh, let's see if I can get into a range. There we go. You can kind of see it here, although it's a little bit tough with the lighting, but you can see that there is a thickness here, right here and there's a thickness right here. And if I hold it this way, you can see there's a thickness here and there's a thickness right here. Okay, so this is a prism flipper. We do utilize these in our treatment program for a lot of different purposes. And let's show you a couple of other pairs of prisms. So these are prism goggles that we use for training purposes in the clinic. We have the ability to rotate the prism around on these and line up if you'll see, there's kind of a little marking here, but we can mark that and line that up to these different angles or degrees. I should say, I'm sorry, different angles. Okay, so this is one pair of prisms. This is a five, so that's the power. Here is another pair. This is stronger, and it is a 10. And if I go like this, you'll definitely be able to see that thickness kind of here and here. Okay, now here's another pair that we utilize. It all is dependent upon the problem the person is having and how they use their two eyes together as a team. But you'll be able to see this one for sure. Look how thick that is, okay? Super thick prisms. And then of course it comes down to a point, all right? That is a pair that we use for training. Now there are prisms that we utilize for testing also, and it might look something like this, where it's a prism on a stick, and you can put it and insert it in front of someone's eye. Ooh, you may even see my eye move trying to adapt to that. Okay, and there we go, I adapted to it. Okay, so my eyes might have looked different as I looked through that prism. All right, we'll use those for um, testing purposes. Here, what's Dr. Julie look like? Oh my gosh, with these on, there's a camera up here and there's one here based on how these are aligned, okay? So there you go, there's your funny, there's probably the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> All right, so we do utilize lots and lots of prisms in our clinic and we do sometimes prescribe them for patients. So someone who has an esotropia, we might give them a really, really low level prism that is based down at the bottom because that causes the eyes to kind of go up and out. So we do use them at times. We can use them for training glasses for short periods of time in order to shift someone's visual space from one side to the other. I'm not a fan of prisms generally for these two purposes, however. If we're trying to use them just to maintain someone's eye alignment when they could be taught how to align and use their two eyes together as a team, I'm not a fan of that. I would prefer that you teach them how to use the two eyes together as opposed to falsely doing that with what I call a band-aid approach, using prisms in glasses to align the eyes. Um, and it actually doesn't really align the eyes. What it does is it aligns the image for them to be able to get a single image. But in our clinic, what we do is we just train the brain to be able to align the eyes without needing that prism because people go through what's called prism adaptation. In prism adaptation, what that means is after a while, the brain gets used to it and then they need a stronger lens or require a stronger lens in order to still see a single. 
after a while, it becomes so strong that it's kind of like outside of the ability or capability of a lab to make lenses like that, and then it becomes a problem. So we would rather kind of train the brain and the muscles to be able to align appropriately without having to utilize that. The second time I'm not a fan of using prisms is in someone who's had a stroke where they've lost part of their visual field and oftentimes, or maybe they've had a brain tumor and they've lost part of their visual field. Could have been as a result of the tumor, it could have been as a result of a stroke that was caused by surgery or something like that. Um, it, irregardless, if we're trying to shift visual space over because a person is maybe missing their right visual field, what it does is it throws off their space over on the left side that they actually have and they're comfortable with. And so I'm not a fan of that. I'm more a fan of let's just train the brain to recover some of the visual field that was lost. Um, even though that might mean for months they're having to deal with space that's missing over here, I would rather not falsely shift it over because it shifts their entire reality. And it causes lots of problems. It can actually be kind of um, cumbersome or even a little dangerous for people if they're shifting everything over, not being able to see clearly on the side they're comfortable with, you might see them get very unstable. So this is a stability and a safety issue also. That's some of the, the uh, prisms that we use in the office and some of the things that I'm not a fan of utilizing prisms for and a particular instance in which we actually do use or a couple instances in which we do use um, prisms in glasses for our patients. So with that, if you like this video, hit the like button. You can hit the subscribe all bell icon so you get notifications for all of our videos. And if you feel like this would be really helpful, obviously we would love it if you would pass this video on. Thank you.